All right, welcome everybody. Um, this is a video tutorial from FatTutor.com. We provide tutorials and help articles for how to do things for troubleshooting over at the major domain registration and hosting companies on the internet. Uh, companies like uh, Network Solutions, Enom, GoDaddy, Moniker, Registrar. Um, we can help you with troubleshooting issues that you might have within your account or even just how to use your account. Um, in this particular video tutorial, it's about how to remove privacy on a domain or domains that you own over at GoDaddy. So get a piece of paper and a pen handy and let's start working through it. Uh, real quick, just a few points with regards to our homepage of our website at Fat Tutor. Um, you'll see we have categories here for other tutorials. We've got our recent tutorials here. We've also got a search box where you can search the name of the registrar, let's say Network Solutions, and then plus privacy or network enum plus whatever you're looking for type that in click search if we don't have a help article on it um, we'd love to help you so click the contact button here on the navigation area tell us what you need help with and we'll try to put a, another tutorial together and add it to our list here um, you can also call the registrar too if you need help um, one other thing here is that uh, we're going to have promos and specials that the registrars are offering. So come over here if you're getting ready to buy a domain, you're getting ready to uh, buy a hosting plan, servers, SSLs, whatever you want, come over here. We might have a coupon that might save you quite a bit of money first. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, okay, so you're in your GoDaddy account. Um, you you know that you have privacy on a domain that you need to get rid of. Um, this little arrows here basically tell you how to get to your domain manager. So real quick, you would go to my account. It's going to be somewhere along the top here. If you don't see it over here on the right, just click on it. And then uh, click on the products tab down below the next step. And then you should see a section called domains. And then I want you to launch into your domain manager. So here is my domain manager. You can see here that I do have privacy on a few of these domains. And the way that you can tell is over here, these little black shadows of people that are bright means that I have privacy on those domains. So out of the 47 domains on this page, well, I mean, you're, they're truly not 47 right here, but it's kind of cut off. But out of all the ones on the page right now, I've got four domains that have privacy on it. So let's say, for example, I want to get the privacy off these two domains. Well, I can't click on it. I can't delete it from here. I can't unselect it when I get it to the shopping cart and choose not to renew the privacy. The privacy is getting re renewed either way. The only way that you can renew a domain or get remo remove the privacy is you have to do it at another website. And the name of that website is domainsbyproxy.com. So what you need to do is you need to go over to domainsbyproxy.com and that's how you spell it right there. This is the company that handles the private registration for GoDaddy. And when you added privacy, you probably got an email from Domains by Proxy. So if it was recent, you can look in your old emails and see if you got something from Domains by Proxy, which would basically give you your login information so that you can get in there and delete the privacy from those domains. A lot of people don't know to keep that email. Um, if you didn't and it's been a long time, I want you to do this we're going to need to get that customer number for this account. It's different from your GoDaddy customer number. So what I want you to do is I want you to click login. A little pop-up is going to load up. And rather than logging in, I want you to click forgot your login information right here. Now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to do this in two steps. There's three arrows on the left here. First of all, we're going to have to do the first arrow an email is going to get sent to us with our account number at Domains by Proxy. And then we'll come back into the exact same section the way we just did. And then we'll come in and we'll do the third option, which is reset my password. Now, if you do this option and you don't get the email with your customer number and you're like, well, where's it at? You know, it should have been here by now. Chances are the email address that you had on file in your GoDaddy account at the time that you added the privacy um, was different from what you think it currently is. So go into old emails. If you work for a company, ask around who might have had access or administered the account before. Ask around and try to find out where that email address is. If you still can't locate it, try going to your order history section um, 
try to go to your order history section in your GoDaddy account and see if you can track down the original order and see what what email address was on that receipt. That could be potentially the email address. Um, and if you need help with how to find your order history section, uh, go over to FatTutor.com, type in GoDaddy up here in the search box and order history, and then we'll show you how you can find your order history section. All right, so let's say, for example, um, you finally get it, you get it located, you come in here, you reset your password, you do a password reset, you get in your account at Domains by Proxy, and then what you do is you look for the domains, you check mark them, you're going to have to delete them one at a time. You won't be able to do it in bulk. They don't allow you to for safety reasons. Um, so delete them from here, and then you can go back over to your GoDaddy account, and what you can do is look in your account, and refresh this page here maybe clicking on this little blue swirl it'll refresh the page and then you should see these little icons go gray they gray out kinda like these ones up here um, one final item here if you're still not getting that email at over from the first arrow um, what you'll need to do is you'll need to do this one more time you'll type in the name of the domain you'll click this security code here click go or OK it'll give you a little paragraph that basically says we've sent an email to the email address on file with your customer number well you already know you're not going to get that email but in the middle of that paragraph there is a link that says basically if you're not getting the email fill out this form you're gonna have to click on it you're gonna have to fill out the form about yourself um, scan a copy of your ID or whatever they're requesting upload it to that form and it'll take about a couple days for GoDaddy to review your information, see if you truly are the owner of the domain, and um, and then they'll let you know if they can remove the privacy. And that's how you remove privacy over on a domain over in GoDaddy. All right, thanks for watching. Remember to bookmark FatTutor.com. Remember to sign up for coupons and check us out before you buy anything. Um, we look forward to helping you, and uh, thank you for watching. Bye bye.